Hello and welcome again. It is a joy as well as a, as well as a privilege to be able to come to you uh, and talk about these matters that are so divine and precious. It's an honor to be able to uh, open the Bible and understand what God says to us as we look through uh, life and see the various challenges that we have in life. I pray that you are continuously uh, doing those things necessary for your physical as well as your spiritual well-being. I'd like to call your attention though to um, a passage in the book of Philippians chapter 2 and verses number 15 very briefly here. The Bible says that ye may be blameless and harmless the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. We do live in a world now where things are just very chaotic. Um, people have uh, gun laws now that they are permitted to carry guns uh, without any restrictions, uh, with little or no restrictions. And we're living in a world where people are just wicked and it is, it's hard sometimes to uh, think about what do I need to do as a Christian. But we must remember that we are, we should strive to be blameless in a crooked and a perverse nation. And I write, like to encourage you to uh, don't give up on God and don't give up on the word of God. Keep turning to God's will and his way. Uh, if I need to, uh, if you need a subject, uh, matter. Let's just talk about don't let your light burn low. Uh, we all need to be letting our light shine. Jesus says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven, Matthew chapter 5. But I want to also tell you that as a Christian, we should strive to be blameless in a crooked and perverse nation. We must work at being blameless. This is not something that's just going to automatically happen. Uh, we have to work out our salvation by striving to be pure and blameless, free from fault, uh, above reproach and rebuke. We should live a good life, a life that is exemplary of the life of Christ. And we should strive to be uh, what God wants us to be. The Christian is to be uh, clean and pure, spotless, uh, holy and righteous, unpolluted, these are the terms and the words that should resonate in our minds. and We should always strive to be good people, uh, striving to be uh, those people that will represent the Lord. The Christian should work at being unmixed, not being uh, so closed minded and uh, worrying about what the world is doing. Instead of looking, instead we should look at the word of God. Uh, the world has its ways, but the, the, the Lord has his way, and we must strive to be what God wants us to be. This is the idea of, of, of the, the passage that we have before us, and we ought to really remember it. It means that our lives and our thoughts uh, should not be uh, according to the world. Uh, our thoughts should be according to the word, uh, and, and we ought to be led by the word of God. Uh, the Bible says in Philippians chapter 1 here in verses uh, number 10 that ye may be above, uh, approve, that ye may approve things that are excellent, that ye may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 and verse 15 again says again that ye may be blameless, harmless, the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. We ought to see that we all ought to strive to uh, hold on to the word of God. And then uh, Paul gives us these uh, uh, ideas and principles for us to hold on to in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. Uh, yes, there will be crooked people all around you. There will be crooked lawyers, crooked doctors, crooked politicians, crooked preachers. There will be crooked people all around you every day of your life. But you must learn to know that I must let my light shine and I must do the very best that I can uh, to be honest and sincere and straightforward. And when I mess up, fess up. 
when I mess up, I got to clean up what I mess up. And there's nothing wrong sometimes with, uh, with us. Sometimes we think when a person messes up, we ought to just counsel them out. It, it is sometimes things are known or people mess up just to, uh, so that they can have the opportunity to confess or to repent of their sin. And that's why we ought to all strive to know that we should have a penitent heart always because we all fall short of God's glory. Uh, Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, uh, we must really remember that in a crooked and perverse nation, you're going to do those things sometimes that you don't want to do. So have a heart to say, Lord, I've messed up. Lord, forgive me. Uh, understand you're in a crooked and perverse nation. And so you have to always know that I've got to turn to the Lord and encourage others to turn to the Lord. How would I do this? And I'm gonna give you three brief points about what Paul says here in Philippians chapter two in verses number 16. The first thing he tells you to do is hold to the word of God. Just make sure you are studying God's word. Make sure you understand that my safety and my answers and my future is based on the word of God. Start this day saying, I'm not gonna do what I used to do. I'm not gonna act the way I used to act. I'm gonna have a new attitude about who I am. Uh, that's why Paul says, even in this chapter, back in verse number five of uh, Philippians two, uh, Paul says, let this mind being you, which was also in Christ Jesus. We have to have a new attitude about knowing where God will lead us with his word, follow his word, knowing that his word is going to sustain us and keep us. Listen to what uh, the Bible says here in verse number 16, holding forth the word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Christ that I have not run in vain, neither, neither labor in vain. Do you realize we live in a crooked and perverse nation? Do you realize that you need and we need the word of God as children of God? We are the lights to this world. Only the world, the world will only know us or know Christ because they know us. Uh, we ought to shine in this crooked and perverse nation, a wicked generation. We live in a dangerous time. And the only uh, light that they will ever see is those who are striving to be what God wants them to be. Not only must we understand, we must hold to the word of God then we must understand as well that the, the word, uh, the, uh, the world rather, will not know any better. They don't know any better. The, the, the world has its way, but God has his way. And that's the only way that people will know who God is. In other words, we must be the examples. What kind of example are you? What kind of person are you? Uh, uh, what kind of uh, example do people say you are? Uh, uh, Paul says here, we should be the aroma of the world. And that's basically what he says. We ought to be the, the people that uh, are representing God. We ought to be uh, without blemish, without spot, without defect. We ought to be the, the people that uh, everyone turned to for answers, even in the midst of a pandemic. We should be the people that people turn to. Uh, we ought to understand that God has given us this opportunity to be the light of this world, to be the fuel in this world, to gratify and to satisfy, to give folks strength, to let them know that the only way we can all be safe and secure, not only in this world, but ready for the world that is to come. And that is, is that we be the examples and be what God wants us to be. As I close, let me just tell you, how can I start shining in this world? I've made my mistakes. I've done wrong. I'm not what I, I want to be. So how can I make the change in this world? How can I start saying to myself, I, I, need, to, I need to fess up. I need to uh, straighten my life up. Well, uh, just stay with God. Like God says, find uh, this, this new way of thinking. Don't think that I already know. In other words, I got to change my thoughts and say, I got to know that I have to be, uh, take myself out of the way and say, let God, uh, I'm going to let God tell me what I need in order for me to be what God wants me to be. 
I have to forget about who I am, forget about what I was taught, forget about what people are doing. I have to go directly to the word of God and I have to say to myself, I have to hold to the word of God. Um, and I got to hold forth, as, as Paul says, the word of life. Uh, it's, it's a shame that we don't share the good news. We share bad news. And so here's good news for all of us who made mistakes, who have done things wrong. We uh, uh, like to share a whole lot of things. We like to share um, what the, the hate. We like to share uh, the violence and the crime. We like to put all of that on the news and across uh, this world and in our newspaper. But what about this good news that we have, that we have in Christ Jesus? All we have to do is recognize that I am uh, not what I should be. I have to learn that I got to go to the Bible itself and let the Bible tell me that I am uh, a person who needs help. I have fallen short. I'm not all that I should be, and but there is a way for me. Uh, Paul says, forgetting those things which are behind and straining forth to those things which are before. He says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Again, can I share with you this good news? The good news is, is that you've made some mistakes in your life. We've all made mistakes. We're going to continue to make mistakes. But if we stay in Christ, if we get in Christ, first of all, and stay in Christ and work out our salvation with fear and trembling, as Paul says in this chapter, we must recognize that we can make it if we stay with the Lord. I don't want to I don't want you to miss what I'm saying. So all I've said was this is that is that if I'm going to ever be anything in this world, if I'm going to live in a crooked and a perverse nation, I can't let my light burn low. I got to continue to stay with the Lord. I got to continue to study the word of God. I got to continue to trust in God. I got to continue to share this good news with those who do not know him. This good news is faith in Christ Jesus, is repenting of my sins, is confessing him to be the son of God and then giving my body to be buried in water for the remission of my sin, and the Lord will wash all of my sins away. I have been forgiven. You will be forgiven. If you live faithful, he'll give you a turn of home in glory. I see that our time is well spent and gone, but don't let your light burn low. Don't you forget this. Don't throw this aside. Everyone must remain faithful to God, and God will see us through this crooked and perverse nation. I know you see it. I know you understand all the crookedness that's going on, but come back to Christ. Stay with him, and then he'll see you through it. Until the next time, may God bless you as our continued prayer.